The latest jobless figures have done little to mask the staggering rate in which South Australians lost full-time work in 2015. Men bearing the brunt of the crisis, with almost 300 axed from full-time employment each week last year. And Nine News can reveal another major employer has swung the axe overnight. Oz Minerals has become the latest local miner to slash its workforce. Nine News has learned staff were told last night that around 100 workers at Prominent Hill will be gone within months. Just weeks ago, Oz Minerals opened its Adelaide headquarters as part of a $10 million deal with the state government, a government which continues to deal with the highest unemployment rate in the nation. Families are hurting at the moment, knowing that there are other job losses to come in the near future. It is a real disappointment and a shame that this government has allowed South Australia to sink to the bottom of the table for 13 months in a row. While SA's headline jobless rate improved to 7.2% for December, Data released today reveals a fuller story of how the state struggled through 2015, when thousands of jobs disappeared from the resources, energy and manufacturing sectors. 10,000 fewer South Australians were employed full-time at the end of the year than at the start. Our jobless rate failed to significantly improve, while the national unemployment rate finished the year stronger. Hardest hit, the state's men. By year's end, more than 15,000 had lost their full-time job. That's almost 300 a week. But the government says almost $2.5 billion worth of infrastructure projects will help lead the recovery. Together all of these projects are going to support uh, about 2,000 workers each year during that construction period. Now that's an incredibly important uh, stimulus to the local economy. With more, political reporter Rory McLaren joined us now. Rory, confusion tonight as to whether jobs are set to be shared from one of the state's biggest supermarket chains. Yeah, there certainly is, Brenton. Both the state opposition and some within the meat industry claim Coles is looking to follow Woolworths by axing butchers' jobs from within their South Australian stores. Now, they are claims which have been flatly rejected by the retail giant. A Coles spokesperson says there are no plans to make butchers redundant in South Australia and they're disappointed the state opposition did not raise its concerns with the company before repeating what they are calling unsubstantiated rumours.